I have a wild idea, a fan theory, if you will, regarding CM Punk, his AEW return, and aligning himself with Bullet Club Gold. Now, before we get into this video, I want to put this disclaimer out there because I'm already expecting someone to be in the comments telling me this isn't going to happen or Punk doesn't want to work with the Elite, all this stuff. Just my little two cents before I break down my ideas because really they're very simple. They're not that complicated. It's not going to take too long to break down. As you guys have heard me state on the channel before, if you're familiar with the channel and if you've watched videos, I am the guy who likes to dig into wrestling rumors sometimes when it has to do with what's going on on television. But if it has nothing to do with the storylines regarding television, I don't care. I don't care about the backstage politics. I don't care about the breaking news. I don't care about he said, she, she said. I don't care about what's going on in the wrestlers' personal lives in a good way because it's none of my business. Unless it has to do with what's going on on television, I don't care. I reason I say that is because is as you guys know, if you watch the channel, we talk about some rumors sometimes. We talk about what what ifs and what's going to happen. This is just coming out of left field though. And this might, you know, in, in some people's eyes go against, oh, well, that's not going to happen. Well, the, the Dave Meltzer said this and the sheet said this. I don't care. Sometimes I just want to be a fan and have fun. And I think people have a lot of people, not everybody, but a lot of people have lost that. So in this video, I, I encourage you to just be a fan, have fun with the theory and post your own theories down below in the comments. Not everything needs to be held under such a microscope with what's going on in the wrestling news and rumors and this that and the other because sometimes as a wrestling fan i just want to have fun and speculate like i did when i was a kid and that's what this video is all about i hope you can meet me in the middle right there i hope you understand and if you're one of those people who's just sitting there like this is this is a stupid idea it's never gonna happen well my channel is not for you go somewhere else now let's get into the theory as you all know announced this past wednesday on dynamite the first main event for collision has been announced and i'm very excited for this matchup bullet club gold jay white and juice robinson will team with Samoa Joe to take on the AW World Tag Team Champions FTR along with the returning CM Punk. Now, first off, let me just say, I am very excited for this matchup, and I think it just has potential to, regardless of this theory, kick off some great storylines for CM Punk in AEW, him versus Jay White, him versus Samoa Joe. Those are two great stories, uh, and just matches alone without the stories, and then add in all the story elements that they could do that I'm really looking forward to seeing Punk, seeing CM Punk really dive more in deep to. Of course, this is just a match night one, but I'm sure from this matchup, more things will come up, and so I'm very excited for this match. It's going to be sick. But now to really get into my fan theory, and I'm going to jump around a little bit, but just bear with me. At Double or Nothing, we saw Kanosuke Takeshina turn on Kenny Omega and the Elite, align himself with Don Callis. And ever since then, we have got back-to-back -back weeks of Don Callis saying he is going to destroy the Elite with his new family. The thing is, though, we all initially assumed Kanosuke Takeshina would be aligned with uh, the Blackpool Combat Club, but two weeks have gone by, and that's not really the case. And I'm not saying they're not aligned or they're not going to be aligned, but Takeshina and Don Callis, although alluding to some family, aren't really standing side by side with the BCC, nor did they do that at Double or Nothing. They were kind of left in the ring, and then BCC won the match, and they didn't really have like a moment together. So I just got this feeling like Don Callis isn't really talking about the BCC when he's talking about this new family that he's going to build or has already been built, whatever words he's, I'm paraphrasing here, that he's been talking about to destroy the elite. I just got that feeling. And then before I even thought about CM Punk, I thought about Bull Club Gold, Jay White and Juice Robinson. And it's been loosely teased that they are going to add a third member sometime soon. Some people are saying Sean Spears. Some people are saying other, throwing out other ideas. Kanosuke Takeshi and Don Callis kind of makes sense in the sense like I don't, I don't know too much about everybody's new japan history but i'm sure they all cross pants cross paths excuse me at one point you guys have heard me talk about in AEW videos like i don't sit here and act like i know everybody's new japan past but i am a fan of jay white and kanosuke Takeshna, especially since they came to AEW. there's got to be some you know past involvement there and if not just it doesn't really need to be don Callis goes to jay white they make this family and kanosuke Takeshna is now aligned with bullet club gold and that's the family that don Callis is starting to to build if you will to take down the elite guys that jay white definitely has history with i mean literally former members of the bull club now just the elite i think it goes hand in hand and some of the other things we have seen as of late on aw television we have seen jay white and ricky starks going at it this past wednesday night the guns got involved and took out 
Ricky Starks costing him the matchup against Jay White, which is like kind of a oh, kind of weird. Like I was looking at that, like maybe it was just kind of a kind of a throw you off type thing. Because what do the guns have to do with Ricky Starks besides what they kind of acknowledged on commentaries that Ricky Starks has semi been aligned and just been friends with FTR over the last few weeks on television? And one more note to really say before I tie this in with CM Punk is during this whole Elite BCC feud, we have been wondering, all right, Takeshi is going to make his choice. We all assume BCC, and that is sort of what has happened, even though he's not really there yet. And then, of course, we all assumed the Elite would even it out by bringing in Kota Ibushi, and I still do think that's going to happen. You know, last week on Dynamite, they said Kenny Omega wasn't in the country, but they didn't say where he was. A lot of people thought that was him, you know, them kind of alluding to him going to Japan to recruit Kota Ibushi to them come ha help handle the problems in AEW. I say that just to bring up the five members, if you will, of the Elite that we'll tie into later. How everything comes together moment by moment really remains to be seen. I'm not here to break down all of that, but CM Punk would have to turn on FTR, then join Bullet Club Gold officially on television. Really, I would have it allude to the fact that he's been there, maybe pulling the strings all along. Samoa Joe, I would also love to have him a part of this new Bull Club Gold faction. I think Samoa Joe and CM Punk being on the same side wouldn't be a bad idea. I know everybody wants to see them feud. Eventually, we'll get that. But Samoa Joe being with Bull Club Gold. Then you got Samoa Joe, CM Punk, Jay White, Juice Robinson. And then eventually, tying it in, Kanosuke Takeshino with Don Callis. That's a badass group of five. And I'll tie in Don Callis a little bit more in a second. But then initially, right off the bat, you have your first feud for this new Bull Club Gold. CM Punk, Jay White, and Juice Robinson versus FTR. And then you bring Ricky Starks back into the fold. How I said the guns might have been a throw off now you bring ricky starks who's been aligned with aligned with ftr those three versus bullet club gold continuing the ricky starks jay white situation it just all makes sense all ties together and then how you bring in the elite is through don Callis. how they have it revealed again i don't have it piece by piece written down here moment by moment but you could literally have Don Callis say he was the one pulling the strings and putting the bad word of the elite in CM Punk's ear and then CM Punk spewed it at the All Out press conference last year. If they really wanted to make it all into a, just an awesome storyline, right? Don Callis was the one feeding the misinformation to CM Punk. Punk drank the Kool-Aid, if you will. And now Don Callis has put together his new family to tear down Kenny Omega and the Elite. Don Callis standing in front with CM Punk, Kanosuke Takeshna, Samoa Joe, Jay White, and Juice Robinson, Bullet Club Gold taking over AEW. And then of course, on the opposite side, you got Adam Page, you got the Young Bucks, you got Kenny Omega, and you got Kota Bushi. You have a new five on five. And by the way, when I said the first feud for CM Punk and uh, Bullet Club Gold versus FTR and Ricky Starks, you can have that going on while you finish up BCC versus the Elite. And then BCC and uh, uh, FTR can go into a feud possibly. I would love to see Moxley and Claudio or whatever combination versus FTR for the gold. I think that'd be great. We might actually talk about that soon in an upcoming video. Stay tuned. And then the other two factions can start feuding and then through that whole situation through don Callis's new family versus the elite you can get your dream matches cm punk versus kenny omega you're bringing all the press conference stuff that happened last year onto television making a money storyline for aw i think it'd be awesome man and again i know this is like a wild fan theory and we're just having fun here but like it also makes sense at the same time and i just really think that don Callis isn't really alluding to BCC when he's talking about this family that's going to take out the elite. It could still very well be Bullet Club Gold. It just has nothing to do with CM Punk, but just piecing all these pieces together, if you will, of this puzzle, a lot of things just start to tie in and maybe they have turned all of the bad blood that happened last year into a awesome storyline for television. Maybe it's just slowly going to play out. I think that's very much a possibility. It's a wild fan theory while also being a realistic fantasy, if you will. Like, I could legitimately see all of this playing out on AEW television. It'd be the most money storyline that AEW has ever put on. It would be must-watch television. But one more time to recap, Don Callis puts together his new family. Over the last year behind the scenes, it's all revealed to take down Kenny Omega and the Elite. Don Callis got 
Kanosuke Takeshita, somebody that Kenny Omega valued. Don Callis put the bad word in CM Punk's ear, somebody who doesn't like the elite. CM Punk got Samoa Joe because of their past history. Don Callis got the Bullet Club, Jay White and Juice Robinson, and he built this new Bullet Club gold, and they are going to target the elite, and it will be faction warfare on Dynamite, on Collision, on AEW. A guy can dream, right? Listen, let me know what you guys think down below. I know it's out there. I know it's a wild fan theory. But as I said in my little rant that started this video, I like being a fan and just speculating and having fun. Not everything needs to be so cutthroat and so realistic all the time. And even when I talk fantasy stuff on here, there's still a lot of elements of realism in it. Like, I'm not coming out here saying, I think Brock Lesnar is going to jump to AEW. Like, that's not going to happen. Like, I'm talking realistic fantasy, if that makes sense. But let me know what you guys think down below. I'm very much excited for CM Punk to be back in AEW. I cannot wait for night one of Collision. I may come on here after the show and make a video. I'm not going to do that every week, but maybe I'll make a video just talking about my, you know, initial thoughts on debut on the debut of Collision or remains to be seen. But let me know what you guys are thinking about CM Punk, Collision, and this whole fan theory down below in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the join button down below to get access to exclusive videos every single week and 15% off No Nation merchandise, which we got a bunch of new stuff for the No Nation Wrestling Channel, the No Nation Game channel all over on the merch store it's badass thank you guys for checking out this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace